One year ago, the biggest urban battle of this century came to an end. Let's go back to how it all started. Mosul, Iraq. It's June of 2014. The group calling itself Islamic State captures this city of more than 1.5 million people in just a matter of days. For more than two years, they hold this northern Iraqi city under tight control. Flash forward to October of 2016. A military offensive, led by an alliance of the Iraqi security forces and an international coalition, is launched to retake Mosul. Siege, bombs, mortar shells, and street fighting overtake the city. And within just two months, more than 100,000 people have already fled their homes. Thousands are killed, and thousands more are being treated at trauma hospitals run by MSF. By January of 2017, the eastern part of Mosul is retaken from the Islamic State group. But the worst is yet to come. In February, the military coalition turns to western Mosul. Our MSF teams are treating hundreds of war injuries every day, but it's not just physical wounds. Our patients also suffer from everything from psychological trauma to even severe malnutrition. By June of 2017, more than a million people have fled their homes. Hundreds of thousands are sheltering in camps around the city. On top of treating injuries in hospitals, MSF is also bringing essential aid to the people in these camps. Meanwhile, the fight moves on to the last part of the city yet to be captured. In the alleyways of western Mosul's ancient quarter, the battle reaches a fever pitch. And then, on July 10th, 2017, the Iraqi authorities officially declare Mosul retaken. The battle is over. So everything's back to normal, right? Wrong. One year later, huge parts of this city remain in rubble. People still suffer from broken bodies and lingering trauma. The fighting may officially be over, but for Mosul's people, the struggle to recover is still a daily reality. That's why, even one year later, MSF continues to work in Mosul, Iraq. Our work here is far from over.